it was a reminder for those who didn't watch my last video. Um, I was playing a rugby match and I snapped my leg um, in half. Um, anyway. I had the same colour as my pillow. I started trading, so I'm just sitting in bed trading gold at the minute. Ooh. Tom, why are you wearing shorts? And uh, if I'm honest with you, I just forgot to take them off last night. So yeah, leave it alone. But also the fact that it is a bit of a pain in the arse with a broken leg. I can't like move this up much, so I have to go down all the way. I forgot how difficult it was to do things with one hand. Never mind one leg. <laughs> Then basically I'm on this antibiotics for a potential infection that I might have in my leg. I've been through enough. I mean, I don't want an infection. <laughs> it is vile. Cheers. All right, so as I waddled towards my door and um, struggled down the stairs, um, is yeah, I went on a walk. I can loosen off the muscles that have been cut into in surgery, but also that haven't been moved in ages. Obviously 11 days sitting around, not doing much. Yesterday I went on four walks, because I'm an absolute unit. Um, anyway, yes, yeah, so obviously it takes me ages to get on the stairs, but once I'm down, I can start getting into the flow of walking. It sounds stupid, obviously, because it's such a mundane, standard, everyday thing, but to me, this felt amazing. And yeah, then I went home and well, out of breath. <laughs> it's a nice way of putting it. It's so bad, like I'm sweating. Like, I don't even see it on my forehead, but I'm actually sweating. This is the first time being back at my desk since surgery, and yeah, I've got a lot of stuff to do. So I bought a new version of the planner. This planner is the best things since sliced bread, and I mean that. It's by Grace Beverly, and basically it's sort of like a productivity planner, you know, sort of maximize what you can do in a day, and then just be organized generally. So I also planned for the next week ahead, and also caught up with my desk calendar, um, which just basically helps me to keep organized and just sort my out basically. You may also notice those little blue sort of numbers next to some of the dates. That was because I was doing a challenge called 75 Days Hard. It's a mental challenge, it's a body transformation challenge. Obviously not doing that right now. I had a week off, my diet's not been great. So I did some medicine work to finish off the morning, uh, got that sent off to the client. Now it's time for food. I didn't make it because I can't walk. My stepmom made it for me, which was very nice of her. And I've just had some more of my antibiotics <laughs> because I don't want to have a leg infection from my surgery. Obviously I won't be back to full workflow for another week or two. Whenever I move, it's like, it takes everything. In these early stages of surgery, the best thing for your leg is to just keep it raised up. So after I've been sitting on my desk for ages, I just got back into bed. What a shame. Although for me, the worst bit of this recovery is uh, definitely the depletion of my leg muscles. It's gonna be horrific. So then I headed out for another walk, um, two of the day and- I've nearly been wiped out about three times. Yeah, just clear optimum athletic ability right now. Um, then I sorted out my plant, put a bit of water in the bar following you. That's the name of my plant, if anyone wondered. Turn in my room. I did some exercises, these are called ankle pumps. These are basically getting all the muscles around my ankle going again because my ankle muscles are just so tight and painful, so. But also to really activate the quads, I basically, what you have to do, you put your hand underneath your leg like this, and then you start pressing down into the mattress. So that's another one that I've had to do because my quads obviously aren't getting much contraction. So even before I start my lagging half, I'm really into productivity, making the most out of a day. It goes hand in hand with me doing, you know, the 75 days challenge. That's when I started doing all this stuff. And this is why I bought this book. I'm trying to build better habits. I'm trying to improve myself um, while I can't do that physically. You know, I can't hit the gym at the minute. You know, I have the extra time in the day to spend. I look like I've got a skin condition. Hang on a minute. Apart from the broken leg, I am definitely seeing benefits. Then I filled out the intro part in this book, which is basically a few paragraphs about yourself and goals and sort of things to, to try and head towards while listening to a new podcast by Ali Abdal. He's basically a bit of a productivity guy himself. I always like having the video playing in the background too, else I get bored generally um, with what I'm doing. I then planned out all my college work that needs doing for the next few weeks because I've got a big deadline coming up and I've already had enough time off to be sad and upset about my leg. <laughs> It's getting worse. Oh no, bloody drop some on me, Sam. God, I'm a 
So we walked number three of the day because my legs started to feel a little bit. How do I explain it? Like uh, achy but like tight at the same time. Let's go. Editing work done. Honestly, this has been, for me personally, a good day. Obviously, ideally, I wouldn't like to have gone gym. However, it's just not going to happen. I, mean, I know it's like sort of probably just all psychological. I can literally feel my muscles just getting weaker. Um, and it's not a great feeling. You spend all the time working for something, you get stronger. And April, I actually started to see progress. It was the first time I've seen progress in about a year in the gym. And... Um, so will it be gone? The leg snaps now, do you know what I mean? There's not really any point in worrying about it. It feels weird to have four hours at the end of a day to do nothing, which would have been the four hours that I'd spent at the gym or playing rugby, so. Oh, cry me a fucking river, Barry! I think I've worn proper shoes once since surgery, which, you know, I mean, I've been to restaurants in Crocs. Yeah, I did look like a bit of a Monster. Painkillers are down. Antibot. Uh, Basically, at this point, I was just beyond tired. This is Tom from the future editing this one, and as you can see, I was stumbling words. Uh, uh, the pain had just got really bad as well. Uh, God, that's not going to help, is it? Pain meds down. Anti-inflammatory is down. Antibiotics down, and just basically try to try to just stabilize a little bit. I'm absolutely drained. I've not moved hardly after three walks today. I was fine, I was fine. It's just that I needed to get the leg back up because I definitely had it down on my desk way too much today. The day before I filmed this video, I was in in bed and on the sofa with the leg, the leg raised pretty much the whole day. I'm such a fat bastard, I've already started eating it, but I've got my dinner. Pasta, chicken, nobles. Oh, fantastic. I'm gonna eat this now. So, uh, food was quite clearly my best friend throughout this first two weeks. I mean, it's, it's sort of normal with surgery as well. It's, it's good to eat quite a lot just to make sure, obviously, the body's healing as well as it can with the amount of nutrients it needs. Um, so yeah, I just got into bed at this point and watched TV, and to be fair, I pretty much watched TV until I went to sleep just to end the day. Pasta carbonara is no joke. Because I've done a bit too much and I just needed to, to chill out. <coughs> Shut the f Front door. This whole thing just definitely made me realise, you know, we all take things for granted. I mean, if you see my Instagram, I've gone on about it quite a lot recently, but, you know, even me just being able to move my arm and hold this camera, you know, I'm just looking forward to getting back into it, getting back to the gym, getting back to just cooking food, going down and getting a coffee, just the simple things like that. I'm just looking forward to it. Just trying to appreciate the little things, <clears throat> like walking, you know, because uh, you can't always do that when you've snapped your shin in half.